Still on security matters, heads of intelligence agencies of the eight member Lake Chad Basin countries are meeting in Abuja to sort out issues which have to be deviled a unified intelligence approach to fighting Boko Haram, an Islamic state in the West Africa province, ISWAP. The meeting, organized by Nigeria's Ministry of Defense and the U.S. Africa Command Africa, is meant to explore better ways of gathering and sharing intelligence among the participating countries. Kikela Mokiri has more. Heads of military intelligence agencies of the Lake Chad Basin have converged at the Nigerian Army Resource Center, Abuja, for a meeting on how to improve intelligence sharing among countries in the region as they confront the common enemy in the fight against Boko Haram, an Islamic state in the West African province. The Nigerian Chief of Defense Intelligence notes that the outcome of the operation will be determined by the quality of intelligence gotten. All understand that the defeat of terrorism and dismissal of all terrorist groups is our most important enterprise today, as we also understand that terrorism, if allowed to flourish in one state, easily becomes a threat to the region and far beyond. The locals are key in intelligence gathering. That's why the deputy chief of mission of U.S. Embassy in Nigeria wants the participants to take a second look at how source of intelligence are treated. Through its security forces, has to convince the local communities to speak out. To gain their information, we, both civilians and soldiers alike, first must earn their trust, but this is no easy feat because communities are fluid and predictable, unpredictable, easy to dissuade, scare, and silence in the midst of a conflict. The impact of climate change to Lake Chad has far-reaching security implications. Reports indicate that the Lake Chad, which used to be the source of livelihood to estimated 45 million people, has shrunk by 90 percent. This has come with a price on the region, especially as it relates to migration and agriculture and security challenges. It's not the first of its kind, but one in a series aimed at building strong partnership to improve security and support efforts towards addressing issues of concern, particularly in the Lake Chad Basin. The Lake Chad and its active basin constitute an important freshwater resource shared by Cameroon, Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Central African Republic. The outcome of this meeting will largely determine the direction of the ongoing operation to end terrorism in the sub-region. Kikelomo Ukeri, Court TV News, Abuja.